What is going on guys? Grave here today and I'll talk about season one of Battlefield 2042. The other day we got a little bit of info from the development team. They had about a 15 minute video on YouTube. I will link it down in the description if you'd like to watch it for yourself. They talked about the start of season one, which we do not have a specific date on just yet. We know it's going to happen in the month of June. So next month, sometime early in the month is kind of the idea that they're giving, but there's no, like I said, no concrete date just yet. So the season one will launch next month and will mark a start of a new year of content for the game. Four seasons, four new specialists, new maps, new weapons, gadgets to help you kind of expand the sandbox. They're also bringing a battle pass to Battlefield for the first time, which will have free tiers and of course premium tiers. So pretty much like any other battle pass we've seen, if you don't buy the battle pass, you know, you'll get some free items throughout the uh, pass itself. If you do buy the battle pass, you'll get the free items and of course the premium items as well. So this next month, the release of season one, they'll be bringing a big update that will not only bring this new content to the game, but also deliver new quality of life enhancements, fixes, and improvements to d demonstrate their continued committed support to Battlefield 2042 and our mission to restoring the trust that many of you feel has hurt when the game or was kind of hurt when the game launched uh, in November of last year. So we did kind of get an idea of what exactly is going to happen. Now there has been a leak saying there's only going to be one map with season one. I'm not sure if this is kind of what they planned or if this is kind of how it's happened. If it's kind of just kind of worked out to be that way. I'm not sure if they were just, you know, kind of trying to bring one map per season, you know, within the four seasons. I was kind of expecting at least two to four maps, if you want me to be honest, each season. But kind of hearing this leak saying there's only going to be one map is a bit disappointing. It is a leak. We'll have to wait and see if that holds true. But overall, I think a lot of people in the community want to see more maps brought to the game. Another thing a lot of people wanted to see was weapons. Now, the only thing we've heard so far, and we did not get to hear any information about exactly what all you know the updates going to have in it. I'm sure we'll hear some more info as season one gets closer to launch, but. We do know that there will be new weapons added into the game, but the only thing we know about for sure is some of these weapons are going to be some of the older weapons from other Battlefield games that are going to be added into the portal as well. So will we see these in both 2042 and in some of the portal game modes, or will it just be added into the portal? We'll have to wait and see on that as well. I think that is the one thing that, you know, I understand not everybody's going to come back and play. Uh, I'm, I'm a longtime Battlefield fan. I've played every Battlefield game ever made. So... For me, I'm always kind of, you know, holding a little bit of hope there that we'll get something pretty good to play at times. It's been better over the, over the last couple months to me compared to when the game first launched. But I know we all want something, you know, better as a whole. And hopefully we'll start seeing some new weapons and some new maps added in. And I think that is one of the biggest things. So they can get the game running smoothly. If we have new maps, some changes to how these operators work. We know they're not going to completely get rid of this, you know, kind of specialist idea, but there's been talk of, of trying to get the specialist back in line with what we would experience, you know, within Battlefield over the last, you know, several, several years that it has been out. Uh, kind of that more of a medic and, and recon and engineer and support style. If that happens and we get more maps and a good bit of weapons added in, I think that will bring some players back. Like I said, I know it's not everyone's going to come back and play, but I think a lot of people will be interested again in the game if those things actually happen. We'll kind of have to wait and see as Season 1, you know, uh, gets a little bit closer as Season 1 launches. We'll kind of have to wait and see what DICE is going to do going forward. But like I said, if you want to check out that, you know, video with some of the develop, development team talking about what they're looking to do, definitely give it a watch. It was a good watch. Uh, I kind of enjoyed it. Hopefully some of the stuff they said will come true within that video. We'll have to wait and see on that as well. It's kind of just a waiting game when it comes to... Uh, battlefield right now we've we've been waiting for several months to get some good content it looks like we're still going to be waiting on some answers going forward but anyway leave a comment with your thoughts of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace